We are here on this magnificent day to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, your greatest moment, and publicly witness the beginning of a marriage that God orchestrated long ago. So Samuel and Sarah, your love and intention has created this moment, and we're here to celebrate and acknowledge a bond that God has forged and cannot be broken. Marriage is gonna expand you as individuals. It's gonna define you as a couple and deepen your love for one another and the Lord. Sarah, I sit here writing this letter with joy filling my heart. I am so lucky to be marrying such an amazing woman. The anticipation of getting to see you in your wedding dress is something I cherish. As you walk down the aisle today, you walk toward our new lives together. I hope you will remember the joy of this day vividly. I have written you a note, one each day for the first 100 days of our marriage. I hope they bring you happiness, laughter, and show you how much I truly love you. Happy wedding day. Love, Sam. Oh, <laughs> okay, well this one seems really fitting. It says, this is my beloved and this is my friend. Song of Solomon 516. You light up my world. <laughs> Dear Samuel, I'm so immensely excited that our wedding day is finally here. We have thought about this day for so many years, it is almost surreal to think we are about to begin the life we have always hoped to start together. Every day, I feel so thankful that you chose me to be your wife. From your constant support and encouragement to your endless sense of humor, you have an amazing way of being exactly the man I need you to be in every situation of our lives. You are my greatest treasure and my biggest blessing. I absolutely cannot wait to see you at the end of the aisle today. Happy wedding day, Mr. Bevilacqua. Love, soon to be, Sarah Bev. He's kind, he's caring, he's energetic, and he loves life. That's like the biggest thing that I have to say is that he just, he loves life, and he makes everybody else around him love life. And so when I'm around him, I love life more. <laughs> so it makes it better, and it just, it, every day with him is so much fun. I'm just, I'm so excited to start our lives together, and I can't wait to be your wife. Sarah is steadfast. Sarah is always there when I need her. She keeps me grounded and she helps me be the best I can be. And that's one of the reasons I'm marrying her is because she makes me a better person every day. Okay, you can look up now. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> oh, you ready? Yeah. A little tiny head. Look at my hair. I know, you look good. It looks great. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. Awesome. Yeah, I love it. We were expecting some tears, Dad. No That's tears. just happy. I'm happy. We're good He's to go. <laughs> All right. And the dress looks great. The dress yeah. looks wonderful. Yes. You look wonderful in your dress. Thank yeah. you. All right, dearie. Okay. I love you. Okay. Can I look up? Yes. I love you so much. Thank you so, so much. You guys are like the most amazing people ever. I'm so I thankful. I love you. <laughs> you look great. Thank you. I love it. I love it. Let me see the back. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's great. It's perfect. We thank you so much for Sarah, God. We thank you for her, uh, her pure heart, God, her kindness, God, her gentleness, that they would set their eyes on you, Father, and that um, they just wouldn't look away, Lord. I pray that Sam and Sarah's marriage will glorify you, that Sam will treat Sarah like you've treated the church, and that he will show her all the love and affection that uh, you've showed us throughout our lives. I pray that he would glorify you, and that how he treats Sarah would act as a ministry to all those around him. So this new journey at times will be richly rewarding and extremely difficult, but most importantly, it's a journey you will take together, and it's much more than a legal contract. 
what you're entering in today is covenantal in nature. So contracts say, hey, if you do this, I'll do this. And if you don't do this, then I can do this. And what, you're, what, what is covenantal about what you're entering into, into today says that I will love you, full stop, period. No out clauses, no if or thens, simply I will love you, period. Sarah, you are my best friend. I'm overjoyed that I get to spend the rest of my life with you. I've waited, prayed, longed for this day my entire life, and now it's finally here, and I'm filled with excitement. We started dating almost six years ago, patiently waiting for God's plan to reveal itself. We've been rewarded for our efforts. Sarah, I vow to always trust that God has a plan for our lives and that that plan is perfect. I vow to always put my relationship with Christ first and my relationship with you second. I promise to lead this relationship to the best of my ability and to seek your counsel continuously. I vow to show you unconditional love, respect, grace, and compassion on both the good and bad days. I commit to trying to make you laugh and put a smile on your face at every turn. I vow to support you in every way I can, celebrating in victory and consoling and defeat. I vow to work to be the man you need me to be and to try to improve myself every day. I choose to accept you as you are and to love every part of you. I choose you to be the one with whom I meet life's joys and adversities and I will stand beside you through it all. I choose you to be my wife forevermore, Sarah. I love you and I couldn't be happier. Samuel, I have said it before, and I'm absolutely sure I'll say it again. You are the easiest and best yes of my life. Six months ago, almost to the day, you gave me the chance to spend the rest of my life with you and gifted me the most beautiful diamond to wear as a sign of our commitment. In many ways, this diamond represents our relationship perfectly. First, diamonds take a ridiculous amount of time to form, like millions of years. And not that I was counting, but we spent 1,833 days growing this relationship before finally having the chance to commit to marry one another, and then another 177 preparing for this wonderful occasion. Add that together, and it makes a perfect 2,000 days. We've learned an incredible amount about each other in the past 2,000 days, but I'm sure it'll be nothing in comparison to what we learned during the next 2,000. Today, I vow to spend the rest of our lives together learning about who you are, embracing the person you become, and encouraging you daily to be exactly who God made you to be. Diamonds cannot form without incredible amounts of heat and pressure. This environment drives the separate particles to become fused together, giving the diamond its strength. Our relationship has contained some of the best and some of the most challenging days of our lives. It would be safe to say this relationship has been exposed to some pretty high pressure and high temperature situations, much beyond our years. Yet these situations have been excellent opportunities for us to lean on one another and trust in God's plan. Today, I vow to face the challenging times hand in hand, continually asking the Lord to use these moments to strengthen our union and bind us closer together. Lastly, this diamond did not emerge from the ground in the beautiful and lustrous state it is in today. As pieces were carefully and precisely cut away, the facets began to reflect the brilliance of the stone out into the world. Today, I vow to allow God to form and shape us into an example of a couple that reflects his unconditional love into the world. I vow to celebrate life's greatest joys with you. I vow all of this knowing that none of it can be fulfilled through my own strength, but only as I strive to live in the grace and love of God. I am so blessed that you chose me to be your wife. Samuel. Take you, Sarah. Take you, Sarah. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To honor you. To honor you. And respect you. And respect you. To be faithful to you. To be faithful to you. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. I, Sarah. Take you, Samuel. Take you, Samuel. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To honor you. To honor you. Respect you, to respect you and obey you and obey you to be faithful to you to be faithful to you forsaking all others, forsaking all others until death do us part. until death do us part Samuel you may now kiss your bride
And now to all the friends and family who have come to celebrate this marriage, I would like to present for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Samuel Bevelock. I want to welcome you here to celebrate the marriage of Sam and Sarah, and I think you see there's a bit of energy that kind of goes with this couple, so hang on. Sarah, you're a Bevelock now. Yeah. To Sam and Sarah, may your days be filled with joy and your challenges be tackled together, and may you just continue the emotional, energetic, passionate roller coaster ride that is your relationship, because that's what makes you you. To Sam and Sarah. I couldn't be happier to gain a sister like Sarah. You guys are really perfect for each other. It's really weird. Um, I mean, y'all's personalities complement each other, and it's a beautiful thing to see. And, you know, I know God's got big plans for y'all. I know we'll all be praying for you along the way. And uh, I know you guys know each other so well. Uh, my first impression of Sam is that he was so energetic. And <laughs> there was just this passion and love for life that exuded from him. And I told Sarah that day, this is not a joke, um, hey, you should really think about dating that guy. And then six months later, they're dating. Six years later, here we are. So y'all can all thank me really for being here today. <laughs> Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them together in perfect unity. Let the me message of Christ dwell among you richly, and whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. So Sarah and Sam, I love you both so dearly, uh, and I am beyond excited for y'all to finally be married. Cheers to Sarah and Sam. Father, I thank you so much for the gift of Christ, your Son, your covenantal love for us. God, I thank you so much for the happiness Sarah and Samuel have in one another and the joy that they have found sourced in you alone. God, I ask, we ask today for your blessing upon this new home, this new marriage, this new family. God, I pray that their love will grow deeper for one another and for you. God, guide them in this new journey. I pray they stay near to you and rooted in your word. They hold fast to your truth, Father. And I pray that you'd use us as their family and friends to support them. You've surrounded them by some great people. God, I pray that you use them to speak life and love into their new relationship. And God, I ask that you would use this time as a reminder for all of us who have entered into a covenant relationship with our spouse, that our relationships would be strengthened today. God, we thank you. We thank you for an incredible celebration of this new covenantal marriage. What a gift it is to your kingdom and to the church and to our families and friends. God, we thank you. We bless your name, Jesus. Amen.